Radio show of the year goes to the warm-up. Max, Barry, well done, gentlemen. Barry, you've been very successful in this awards, haven't you? I think this is the third time I've been here with you tonight. You may notice I'm a lot drunker now than I was first time I spoke to you. That's unlike you. Uh, look, we just said on stage, Max agrees with me, it is a damning indictment on the state of British broadcasting that we've won the best radio show. We do Culver House, we do guess the attendance. Yes. Could you explain, by the way, what Culver House is to some people? The rules are on the website. The rules are on Hold on, Max wants to speak. Go on, Max, do you want to say something all the way from Australia? This is, this is Charlie Baker's award, because, because me and Barry have been doing this for years and have never won. And Charlie Baker came in, what, a year ago? And now we've won. So really, we owe it all to Charlie. Media of the Year Well, I think he's had. I think he's Max from Australia. There's had his say. But how has it been with Max being in Australia? Your your friend, your some might say lover. He's away in Australia, the other side of the world, and you've been managing to still do this wonderful radio show, which you've won an award for. How's it been, Fever? Uh, it's been actually quite difficult because rather than have him in the studio, Max and I have been working together for so long. We kind of have a you know little looks and. Gestures it's intimate, let's I say. I want to speak. Well, I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm comfortable where this interview is going. <laughs> um, uh, Max is a happily married man. He has a child on the way. Uh, uh -huh. it's, you should be ashamed of yourself. I've quite met his wife. She's a lovely woman. Uh, the rumours about myself and the current Mrs. Rushton are untrue. Mm -hmm. But it is fair to say he is punching. Yeah. I am probably more his level. Yeah. Um, uh, but the award is about Barry. Back yeah, to Barry. Back to all, uh, <laughs> I'm on a table at the moment. I think there's five. Or the table, we're going to need concrete blocks underneath it is that right? to stop it collapsing. <laughs> That's how. You're not going to fall through another table, are you, Barry? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not draw you. Mm. <laughs> Uh, look, I'm, I'm actually more chuffed about this than anywhere. I didn't think we had a hope in hell. Well, six or six is such a stranglehold on this award. This is the first time a talk sports show has won this award. So basically what we're saying is it, this is definitive proof that a radio show in which two middle-aged men in their 40s n randomly name footballers from 1989 yeah is better than someone on the A4 ringing in to rant about how bad Plymouth Argyle are. I can hear Max chuckling away there. Uh, he may have something else to say. I, I've run out of things to say to Barry, you. Barry, you've, you've won so many awards tonight. It's been your night, Barry Glendening. Well done, sir. Congratulations. I am the Lionel Messi of the FSAs. <laughs> you, I, and you have to say it's true. It's very accurate. Well done, sir. Yeah. Anything to add, Max? No, just that um, I love Charlie and Barry, and yeah. I'm really surprised about this one. The other one, the pod one, you think maybe, but this, the Monday Night Club is a very good show. There's some good radio shows there, and so to win it is massively surprising and great.